Today we're bringing some nostalgia to the YouTube channel, bringing it back five years with four of the most popular drivers from 2018 in this TrackMan test. Taylor's gonna hit the shot, so we're gonna break down all the data for you. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments if you've played any of these four drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Taylor Ledwine, a master club fitter here at Second Swing. We're at the Minnetonka store in the tour van. Um, and you know, with the new year and the new products out, mm -hmm. um, also wanted to throw it back, five years. So this is where we were five years ago with drivers. Uh, these are the five most popular from 2018. Mm -hmm. So we've got one from each of kind of the most popular brands. We've got the Ping G400. We've got the TaylorMade M4. We've got the Titleist TS2 and the Callaway Rogue. So Taylor, I know uh, you haven't maybe been fitting as much of these lately, but mm -hmm. um, what do you know about these and what do you think we'll see in the test here? So I've really only hit the Ping one. Yeah. Um, I even had that in my bag kind of five oh, years yeah. ago when it came out. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones, I'm kind of, I mean, obviously I know about them like. Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of right at first glance type thing. Right, um, but I've never hit any of them. so. Mm -hmm interested to see kind of the results from all of them. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's funny because there's kind of some technologies of each of them really that are still prevalent in mm -hmm. their drivers now. I think, you know, TS2 was kind of the first series of their Titleist Speed project, really yep. adding the ball speed not, and kind of catching up, if you would, with some of these other manufacturers. Taylor made they came out with Twist Face in this series, and that's still on, you know, the Stealth and Stealth 2 drivers. Yep. And then the Callaway Rogue, uh, they added to their jailbreak technology, which has been evolving year over year with their drivers as well. So mm -hmm. it's funny to see that evolution, but of course, it's fun to go back and see yeah. where you were. So with these, we've got the kind of stock uh, stiff shafts with mm -hmm. each of these. So uh, I mean, similar to kind of what you're playing, but not going to be a perfect test in that regard. But yeah. they're all at 10 and a half degrees aloft. Um, I guess it, I'm curious to see how someone like you hits all these and, and then I'll kind of ask for your feedback too in terms of maybe some of the newer stuff as well and see you know if you think it compares well or, right. or what the case might be because there's a lot of golfers out there that don't want to pay you know five six hundred dollars mm -hmm. for a brand new driver and these are going to be available by second swing for much cheaper yeah I'm, I'm really excited to see kind of for people who are maybe in the market for something new mm -hmm. like you said not wanting to spend them the most amount of money just you know kind of just want to update their bag get a, mm -hmm. something that works maybe a little bit better for them so I'm excited to see the results that yeah. you know we kind of get from these drivers that are five years old. Sure. Well, let's let's go. Let's get after it. Let's hit five tee shots with each driver, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and we'll break down the information. Sounds good. Oh yeah, one five zero. Come on. Oh yeah. Yes. Can you do it one more time? I'm gonna try. Oh, that's a good ball. Wow. Wow, immediate jump in ball speed it looks like. Yeah. Low spin too, that thing might be the farthest. Oh, that sounds different. Yeah, it does. That works. Yep. Yep. All right, so Taylor, uh, four different drivers there. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a quick look at the data before we kind of are starting talking here, but we saw some things to point out. I did want to ask you first though, sound, feel. Um, again, we're going back five years um, in drivers here. So yeah. um, anything that jumps out at you in you know the way it felt, the way it looked, um, any of those categories that are hitting them? Yeah, so I think the Ping G400 felt the best off the face. 
Um, I'm also comfortable with it. I've yeah. played the last couple models of the G, you know, 400 models. Mm -hmm. um, the Rogue was the loudest yeah, and I most like piercing sound. Mm -hmm. um, so I think of all the four, I didn't enjoy the sound of that. The other two were, I don't want to say basic, but they were pretty, you know, simple. Mm -hmm. Felt good, but not quite as good as a 400. So yeah, yeah, I think uh, definitely noticeable the, the the noise with the Rogue, and I almost. There's kind of that, that, that stigma with the ping drivers that they're kind of the loudest and the most sort of brashy noise, mm -hmm. but it was the Rogue, I think, here that really kind of like, wow, that was different than the rest of them. So yeah, for you sure. had that. And then um, I did want to start kind of pointing at the numbers here. And the first thing that I notice is the spin with the TS2. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was, I don't know what, what could have happened there. Did it, did it feel like you were hitting it differently or swinging it differently or is it just more spin? Yeah. I didn't feel like I was hitting it any yeah. differently. I mean, the numbers don't appear everything else besides the spin. So right. I think maybe that driver just has a little bit more spin on it than yeah. the other three options. Yeah, and it, I mean, I think you pointed out too before we started kind of recording here is that the carry distances are all yeah. nearly identical. 218 to a, one extra yard there with the Rogue at 219. But then you go to the total and you can see how much that spin is hurting the TS2 in that total distance department. Right, yeah, I mean, it's almost... I mean, from the M4, which is the lowest total, uh, mm -hmm. almost eight yards. So that spin is getting you not in trouble, but you are. Right. If you're looking to get that maximum distance, then that spin's not really right. what you're looking for. And on the flip side, too, if someone actually needs more spin, mm -hmm. you know, the TS2 um, is a you know really popular kind of older driver that yep. would work for that player that does need a little bit more spin or a little bit more, um, I guess, stopping power or, you know, time for that ball to stay in the air because I think yeah. a lot of golfers may struggle with that ball and be diving out of the sky too quick. I mm -hmm. um, want to look also at just the height. So with that more spin, we saw the TS2 at 77 feet on average, which yeah. is much higher than the others, um, but still staying competitive and, you know, uh, was the M4 and the Rogue. And then G400 um, was down at 58 feet, but I think it was probably the most consistent or one of the most consistent, that one in the M4. We're very consistent for you. I kind of wanted to bring up like the dispersion here of distance mm -hmm. and the deviation and the spin as well. So you're kind of, you know, because you want to know what you're going to get out of these drivers yeah. and really look at the spin numbers in particular on each of them. That deviation is under kind of that, that difference is under 200 for all three of them. So that's a really good indication for golfers that, hey, these gyros might not, might be five years old, but they're still going to be very consistent for them. Yeah, I think all four of these, I mean, if you're looking to, like we said earlier, not spend a ton on like a brand new driver, all four of these are great options. Even mm -hmm. though they're five years old, um, there's some you know stigma around that. If you yeah. need the newest thing to get the best performance, and I think looking at all these, I mean, we've hit my driver a few times, you know, in videos, and I'm getting the same amount of distance almost. Right. And the results are still good for all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, the M4 dispersion, if we when we look at that, yeah. it's pretty tight. So I mean, it's yeah. a good option. That is one thing I was just going to ask you. So kind of, we're jumping into dispersion now. And I mean, there's clearly one that yeah. we look at right away. Um, so talk to me about what you see here. Um, I know you just mentioned the M4, but anything of the, any of the other ovals, you know, tell you anything? So the M4 and the TS2, the TS2 is a little bit wider. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if you look at the distance, it's like the smallest distance mm -hmm. wise besides right. the M4. And the Rogue and the G400, I mean, they're a little bit wider, but I mean, if I'm playing, I think there's one of them that's kind of right. in the rough there. Yeah. If I'm playing and I'm playing a five-year-old driver and I have results like this, I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard to be upset at it because right. you're hitting the fairway, which is the most important thing. Yeah. I mean, I, that M4 dispersion is pretty remarkable yeah. to see that. That's, you, can, you can get away with that all day. I mean, mm -hmm. your, your misses aren't really misses. So one thing I did want to note mm -hmm. was you had one with the TS2 that spun extra. Mm -hmm. um, so granted, the TS2 in general was spinning more. But this one that spun up to 36.45, comfortably the most spin you had all day. Yeah. It still carried like well within kind of competitively the rest of them. So, yeah. so that's something to know. That's a pretty good sign for the TS2 as well that, yeah, it might be spinning more, but even when you maybe miss it or it kind of jumps up in spin, it's still going to give you the distance you need carry wise. Um, so like, for example, I mean, that one fun, spun 36.45 and this one was 27.89, but they're right next to each other up there. Right. So, um, that's a that's pretty good indication because I know when you're working with golfers, consistency is a big thing. Mm -hmm. And you know if, if someone miss hits on the driver, yeah. they're looking for the club to still do enough for them to you know keep the ball in the same range. Yeah. So if you're looking at like the bigger circles there, I mean, 
they're more being okay the two for the rogue mm -hmm. and the g400 are shorter but if you take those out and you look at all of them i mean Yes, they're to right. the right, but maybe that is the swing that I made. But the distance that they're all traveling is pretty, right. pretty consistent within each other besides those two kind of outliers there. Yeah, so. there's a few stragglers, kind of those two short ones. Mm -hmm. But in general, the drivers are all going a very consistent number. I mean, we talked about the carry distance on yeah. average being basically the same for all four of them. So um, I think after that, it becomes down to what you prefer to look at, mm -hmm. what you prefer to hear at impact. Um, and those two things are going to kind of help you decide which of these four drivers is gonna be best for you if you're looking for a driver that's not brand new or five to six hundred dollars like right. some of these newer ones in 2023 but these are gonna be a lot cheaper they're gonna be available at second swing in large quantities in our used selection and so we encourage mm -hmm. you to shop there and work with someone like Taylor over the phone or come into one of our stores and we'll get you set up with one of these drivers help you play better golf and shoot lower scores. So Taylor, thank you for joining. Uh, this is kind of a fun little flashback here. Yeah. Um, some really solid drivers for golfers to look at that might not be top dollar. Yeah, it's exciting to see, you know, kind of five years ago where they've started to now and how those are still performing well.